Alamos Gold is a Canadian-based gold producer that owns and operates the Mulatos Mine in Mexico and has exploration and development activities in Mexico and Turkey. President and CEO John McCluskey is in attendance and he joins our Pim Fox with an outlook on his company and the industry. Pim? Mark, I know you just like having to say that mulatto's mine. I love it when you do that. Thank you, Mark. Yes, I am here with John McCluskey. He is the uh, chief of Alamos Gold. Good to have you with us, John. Bring us up to date what's going on in uh, Mexico, the state of Sonora. That's uh, center stage for what's happening at Alamos. Exactly. We've got a producing gold mine there called Mulatos. Uh, last year, we produced 178,000 ounces of gold. Uh, this from a company that uh, had a market capitalization of under $20 million in 2003. So this cycle has been... Uh, you're, on a, you're on a growth trajectory. You're supposed to be, this is like a tech company. This isn't a gold company. Well, it's um, an incredibly fast-growing company. You know, we've gone from under $30 million in market cap to uh, $1.5 billion in market cap. And we have enough projects in the pipeline right now to take this company from the 180,000 ounce level right through 400,000 ounces of production. 180 to 400. Yeah, between now and 2013. That's that's the growth trajectory. How right big uh, how big a contribution are you looking to Turkey? Because that's a new development for you. You just made a, an acquisition there. That's a new addition. Well, we just closed that acquisition in uh, January, but it has uh, several million ounces already showing, and another million ounces that we think we can divine in addition to that. That quite quickly. Uh, we're already scoping out the project. We'll have a study done in a week to 10 days' time. Beyond that, uh, when you look at the permitting and the construction, we're probably three years away from production there. And I think it'll. Now this is in northwestern Turkey, right? Northwest Turkey, and it'll generate about 150,000 ounces to 200,000 ounces a year. Now this is for gold. But what about copper? Isn't there copper also part of this? No, no. We're a pure gold producer. So we're no probably, copper in, in Turkey. I thought there was. There's lots of copper in Turkey, but not in these deposits. Okay, so you're just yeah. going for the gold. In, in Turkey. Right. What about financing? We've heard a lot about credit being very short for, for companies right now. Are you able to access the, the credit markets the way you want to? Well, we don't need to. You okay. know, we're, a, we, we're a company with no debt. We have 150 million cash. Uh, we're generating tremendous cash flow. And as a result, we're going to be able to build everything we want to do out of the cash flow. What about the price of gold right now? $1,100 uh, for an ounce of gold. You think it's going higher? You know, those are difficult things to predict, and uh, I, I ultimately think it will. I don't think it goes up in a straight line. It, it's going to be fits and starts. There's going to be pullbacks and runs. Um, right now, I think we're seeing a, a fairly fat, flat uh, phase, but the underlying problems that are driving the gold price are just not going away, and as a consequence, I think you're going to see the gold price continue to rise. What about investing in new production right now? How do you keep those costs low? Well, we are the lowest cost producer in North America. Uh, research will, uh, independent research demonstrates that uh, our production cost at the uh, Mulatto's mine right now is about $275 per ounce. Does that have to do with the fact that there's a lot of high grade uh, ore there? We haven't even begun tapping into the high grade. When we start mining the high grade zones, it'll push the costs down even more. You know, ultimately we'll be well, uh, well down in the $200 per ounce range. Um, current production from the heat leach operation is just very, very efficient, and, and, and it's just low cost. It's the nature of the, uh, the deposit. What we're bringing on in Turkey should be even better. It has much more simple metallurgy. The uh, preliminary project economics look extremely positive. I, I, What's I, the date? What, you got a date that you're looking for in terms of... Well, with the, the a, num there? a number of the, um, the issues somewhat outside of our control, for example, to permitting, timing, and so forth, you'd never pin it down to a date per se, but I can pin it down to 2013 as our expected startup of that mine. How did you select Turkey? I mean, what, what, how did this come on your radar screen? Well, there's a couple of things we do. First of all, we think the market was mispricing political risk in Turkey. As a consequence, these things uh, were up for sale and the, the price looked very, very attractive. So, for example, we acquired these resources at roughly $40 per resource ounce. You can't acquire gold at that price in, in Mexico or the United States or Canada. Now, how did that compare to the risk we needed to take on in Turkey? Well, once we got on the ground and started to really assess it carefully, we recognized Turkey was uh, basically rolling out the welcome mat. They, they want foreign capital to come in. They want foreign mining companies to come in and, and start production in Turkey. So we saw a tremendous opportunity there. It was being overlooked by the market. 
Um, at the time, the company selling it was uh, essentially divesting of uh, non-core assets, uh, trying to and raise you were capital. able to take advantage of the situation. Exactly. Right. I want to thank you very much, uh, John McCluskey, coming in, the uh, chief of Alamos Gold. Good luck in Turkey. Good luck in the operations in Mexico. Thank you. Uh, back